everybody loves it, including members of the Mickey Mouse Club. The Wayne Machine is awesome. Great, you should go. They took time off from their busy Mickey Mouse Club schedule to try out all the attractions at Typhoon Lagoon. And they found out what everybody knows. Typhoon Lagoon is the hottest place for a cool summer fun. The different Monday. Monday is music day where you can rock with the hottest stars and the reddest videos. Tuesday. Tuesday is guest day when you never know who's going to be there. Wednesday. Wednesday is anything can happen day where anything and everything will happen. Thursday. Thursday is party day. Need we say more? Friday! Friday is talent day where kids all across America will be put into the Mickey Mouse Club Hall of Fame. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Any day and every day, the only place to be is the Mickey Mouse. Been closed captioned for the hearing impaired. To the Mickey Mouse Club. Now, as you all know, it's anything can happen day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And today's guest is the amazing magician, Harry Blackstone Jr. Yeah. Oh, oh. Hey, how are you? I have Hi. a little something here that uh, I want to do a little trick for. It has to do with a bird in a cage. And hop! Uh, Whoa! Well, now, now, Harry, Harry, hey. we're going to see you hey. later in the show, right? So we have to get on with the update right now. Oh, I'm right. terribly sorry. I mean, I, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to disappear then. Ready? Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> and if you're looking for more action, stay tuned for part two of our new club movie, Match Point. All right. Well, this is my favorite part of the, the show. See, last night we decided to do a little baking, and today we brought in the results. Mm -hmm. Did we ever? I made these killer chocolate chocolate chip cookies mm, they smell very everybody chocolate. take a whiff please can I take Wait. a bite yes. Yes. Yes, yes. take a bite yes. right is that good or what it's good it's good but haha I'd like you to see mine mine are just regular cookies with wonderful huge chips of butterscotch that's all they are basically but let me tell you they're the definition of per perfect no no you know those are pretty good uh but these, I think, might top those. These what I did scary. is... What are those, I mean, they, they look a little wild, but I had a regular brownie mix, right? Yeah. And to put a little pizzazz into it, I just added some peanut butter, and uh, they are more than good. Peanut yeah. butter brownies. Ooh. Doesn't Ooh. that sound good? Yeah. Okay, yeah. now, what about you, Fred? Well, <laughs> the last time I made brownies, I forgot to... Just, just the mix. I forgot to add the eggs. Oh, my God. And we yes. had a big brownie this big. It was that We had the crack out of the pan, and my brother and I, the only thing we figured out to do with it was take it outside, and we threw it like a Frisbee. Like <laughs> or the neighbor's dog, yeah, right? Yeah, right. That's it. That's yeah, yeah. Really. Okay, well, Chase is with an audience member, and they're going to try some of the things that we made. And Great. give us their opinion on it. So, uh, Chase? Sure. Thanks, hey. Damon. This is Spencer. And, Spencer, we'd like you to try each cookie. Just take one bite and tell us what you think. Is that good with you all? Yeah, great. Okay. All right. uh, we're going to start with Lindsay's chocolate chocolate chip cookie, right? Okay. Yeah. So here you go. Just take one bite right, of that. The pressure's on for you, babe. Uh-oh. <laughs> Is it what good? What do you think of that? Pretty good. 
pretty yes. good. Pretty yeah. good. Pretty okay. good. That, that was pretty, pretty good. good. Pretty now good. we're gonna try Brayden's butter chunky whatever he said. It's oh, yeah. great. Let me okay. tell you. <laughs> Take a try of that. Like okay. Butter chunky whatever he said. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Is it good? Those are good. Oh, mm. Did I tell you? Good Did I tell you? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to Damon. Last Damon's the luck. The big cojona right. to go for it. The scary one. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh, he's gonna he's gonna take a little bite. He's kind of scared of this. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. I like that. Like he yeah. likes the brownie. Right, Spencer. Well, That's right. Back to you, Fred. Right. All right. Well, they look so good. I think I'll the second okay. opinion. Mine. No, because. I'll do that. We'll do it. While we're doing our own taste test, here's Mueva and company singing Ico Ico. My grandma, your grandma, sitting by the fire. My grandma said to your grandma, I'm gonna set your flag on fire. Talking about hey now, hey now, Ico Ico and me. Giacomo Fino, I nane, Giacomo Fino, I nane. Looking like King all dressed in red. I go, I go, I nane. I bet you five dollars will be with. Giacomo Fino, I nane. Talking about hey now, hey now, hey now. I go, I go, I nane. Oh, I go, I go, I nane. Giacomo Fino, I nane. Giacomo Fino, I nane. And welcome to 60 Seconds. Tonight, we take a close-up look at the space program. Our cameras reveal NASA's innermost secrets. From the technical crew at Mission Control to the antics of astronauts Nelson and Healy. Oh, boy. We better stop. I think we're lost. Lost? How can we be lost? Relax. I got a map. Let's see. We took a left turn here. And here's Epcot. <laughs> what? You... Idiot. What? This is a map of Florida. Ooh. We reveal the foul-ups. Ooh. I hope this isn't on TV. They're juvenile practical jokes. Hey, Tony, can you give me a hand with this thing? Uh, Roger, uh, just let me get a hold of it here and... Whoa! <laughs> See footage never seen before. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Wait for me, guys. Guys, hold up. I'll be right there, guys. Hey, hey, guy. Oh, great. Just great. I wonder if I can get a cab this time of night. As well as this shocking evidence of canine life on the moon. Boy, it's a good thing we brought this pooper scooper. Our onboard camera gives a candid, no secrets look at every single moment of the space mission where... Hey, 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 take off that lens cap. Hey, we're doing a story here. Tune in again next time for another episode of... 60 seconds. On today's episode of Match Point... <laughs> Hello, I'm Harry, Harry Blackstone. I know. You know, I was just talking to Chase backstage, and did you know that he is an only child? Earlier this week, the Mouse Club began a contest to find Chase a brother or sister. And if you want to enter... Just write in 25 words or less why you'd like to be Chase's sibling. Send it to I Want to Be Chase's Brother or Sister Contest, Mickey Mouse Club, Post Office Box 10,200, 
Lake Buena Vista, Florida, 32830. And the winner gets to be on the show and gets to be mm -hmm. Chase's sibling for a day. So don't let that lonely child be an only child. Uh, thanks. <laughs> but uh, we're supposed to be introducing today's episode oh, of but, Match But before Point. you do, I have a um, special little trick that I wanted to do for you. I, I thought you'd enjoy this. Here's a, okay, put your hand right up on there. You put your hand on there too, Boyla. Okay. That's fine. And your other hand on the other side of the and no switch hands, you won't okay. be all out of shit. <laughs> Just that quickly. And it goes. Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> No, that was great, Harry. But uh, you. your part of the show is later on. Oh, you mean I got to leave? Thank oh, you. Okay, bye. Thank you. <laughs> well, today we're going to find out how Wunkle's uh, his practical joke turned out in the second episode of Match Point, right? Yeah, and I can't wait to see what happens when Jason and Bart find out they're staying in the same room together. I have a feeling they're not going to be real happy about that. Well, let's find out. In yeah. part two of Match Point. <laughs> Tell me you signed up. Yeah, what are you, the welcoming committee? Take a hike. Hey, pal, this is my room. Oh, no, 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 I'm not bunking with you. You're gonna have to find yourself another room, like in another country. I was here first. Why don't you go find another room? No, I've been driving all day. I'm going nowhere but to bed. But get out of my bunk! What's all the racket here? Yeah, you guys, you're disturbing the neighbors. I'm not bunking with this guy. I didn't put you two together. Well, someone really blew it. Stow it, Runkle. Come on, Stroud. On your feet. We're putting you someplace else. Let's go. Well, take Barton. I'm comfortable right where I am. No one's chasing me up. I'm staying. Suit yourselves. If you two hotshots want to stay here together, fine. But if you give me any more grief, I'm going to start knocking some heads together. Open. Close. Good boy. To think my dad pays good money for me to be tortured like this. It's still dark. What did you do? Sleep in your clothes? Bonnie, did you lose something? My wristband. Must have forgotten to pack them. Oh, you can borrow one of mine. No, I'll do without. I don't think she likes me. It's not you, it's everybody. Bonnie Stafford could definitely use a personality transplant. Detroit, really? Oh, for Phoenix, you ever been there? Oh, no, I haven't been anywhere much, really. This is my first time at camp, even. Oh, you're gonna love it. <laughs> it's my fourth year. Really? Good morning. You run for me? Yes, dear. How'd you know that? Well, I saw you on the highway yesterday. Senor de la Rusa, you are all friends. 
Oh, right. I am Teresa Gonzalez from Ecuador. Oh, well, uh, welcome, uh, Teresa Gonzalez from uh, Ecuador. Yeah, right. I'm Tim Runkle. It's a name to remember. Why is that? Oh, I got big plans. Someday, you're going to see the name Runkle on everything. From tennis rackets, to tennis shoes, tennis ball. I bet you don't remember me. Should I? Sure. I'm the guy who found your cat when she ran off. I don't have a cat. I have a dog. Did I say cat? Well, I, I meant a dog. I mean, he looked like a dog. It was uh, the Pomeranian with red frizzy hair. He's a cock spaniel with curly hair. Of course. <laughs> yeah. His name's Max. Rocky. What an incredible coincidence. I have a cocker spaniel named Rocky. Hey, do you think it's the same dog? <laughs> yeah. Names are really important. Take Runkle. Now that's the name people like to say. It sings, you know? Yeah, right. That thing's amazing. Now, uh, take your name, for instance. Uh, Teresa, Teresa Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Right, forget it. From now on, you're just plain Gonzo. What do you think? <laughs> Excuse to me, buddy. Yeah, I got nothing to prove to you, pal. I witched you the last time we played, right? I bet you couldn't do it again. Have a rematch. Right here, right now. You get your rematch when I'm good and ready, pal. <laughs> Jason, how you doing? Hey, Casey, fine. How are you? Good. How's your dad? He's fine, I guess. Last time I saw him. Tell him I said hi. You know Casey? Yeah, he, he's an old family friend. He and my dad go way back. Oh, boy. Big. Come on, Nosy, big. Atta boy. Come on, Nosy. Come on, Nosy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think he speaks your language. <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's just not ready to commit yet. <laughs> well, good morning, you two. Good morning, Holly. I noticed Nosy's been following you around, Joel. He's not making a pest of himself, is he? Oh, no, man. We've been getting along just fine. I'm teaching him some tricks. Oh, I hope you have better luck than Casey. He's been trying to teach this old dog something for eight years. <laughs> Holly, um, what happens now? I've never been to a tennis camp before. Well, after breakfast, we'll have rankings. You play a little bit of tennis for Casey and show him what you can do. So you mean, like, we'll be graded and everyone will be watching? Well, sort of. But don't worry about it. You'll be just fine. Hey, Jack, can we still hear it? Uh, oh, no. He hasn't popped up yet. No, but you know what? He what? usually appears when you introduce him. Oh, right. A formal introduction. Well, today's Anything Can Happen Day guest is one of the world's greatest magicians. Um, and we're really thrilled to have him here. Would you please welcome Harry Blackstone, Jr.? Um, hi, uh, I think we've got to go on without him. Oh, go on without him. <laughs> Hello, Fred. <laughs> You're toying with us here. I am indeed. I just always appear in a puff of smoke. I see you have a deck of cards there. May That's I right. use those for a minute? Uh -huh. These are, you know, it's all different cards. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to try a little bit of thought transference. Would you like to be my helper on this, all of you? I love yeah. it. Okay, sure. let's, let's do this then. Here's our deck of playing cards. And I'm going to ask you to just select one of these cards out of here. Just so you can see that each and every one of them is different. I've shuffled them all up. Right. Mix them thoroughly. And uh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you, if you would, please, Fred, to just reach in here and select one of these cards at random. Just sure. take it out. Yeah, Anyone yeah. you like, just one. All right. Okay, take it out. Now, I want you to stand right here, and uh, you stand over on that side of him, and Tiffany, you stand over here on this side of him. I want you just to peek at that card and think of the name of that card. 
And I want you then to pass your thoughts to all of the folks here inside of the clubhouse. Okay? Okay. Now I want you to do that. All right. Now they're going to begin to get an image. Um, now look at it. Concentrate okay. on it and pass it. the thought. And I want everybody to just get the thought of the name of a playing card. Everybody can get the thought of the name of a playing card, okay? Now you just think of it, Fred. All right. And I'm going to ask everybody here to call out on the count of three the name of a playing card. Do we all understand one another? One, two, three. Yeah. How about that? What is the card you have in your hand? Show it to him. No. <laughs> I'm amazed. Now, wait a minute. Let me point something out. All of you and all of you and all of you know how that's done. And if we don't tell Fred, it'll drive him crazy. Okay? And you and I'm not going to tell you how it's done either. And there was no prearrangement. None at all. They did not know what cards you were going to take. You're spooky over there. I have something else I want to show you right over here. Sure. Yeah, want to see that? You see that over there? Uh -huh. That's one of my big stage illusions. Oh, yeah. My, my very big stage illusions. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No. This is what I use to make somebody float up into the air. Now, which one of you would like to float up into the air? That's called levitation. Mm, like, you know, you know, well, what? Just get Mueva out here. Yeah. yeah. Mueva. 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 Oh, yes. Come on over here. Here's Mueva. Come on. You'd be perfect for How oh, are you? Uh, they have volunteered you to be part of this. Would you let her sit right over here on the yeah. end of this? <laughs> sit down right over here. Okay. And we're about to have you float in the air through hypnosis. You see? Oh. We're going to make you hypnotized just like that. And now you're hypnotized. Now you will float. You ready to... Well, I'll tell you what. It's easier if you lie down, though. Just lie oh, okay. down, if you would, right along there. And anybody that lies down that is hypnotized like this can float up... Oh, my goodness. It's a very tall studio. I better put something across your midsection there. This will keep you from floating up too high too quickly. Now hold your hands right here in the middle. Okay. Right, just like that. And I'll put this right in here. That keeps you from floating up too high too quickly. There. <laughs> Now, as a person is hypnotized, they are then capable, well, actually, you know, they're also, they say that you can use hypnosis in order to stop the flow of blood during surgical operations. Now, that's not generally known, but I'm going to try a little demonstration of that, if I may. I have right here a surgical tool, a big surgical tool. Um, oh, please don't be upset. No, please don't be upset, because I've done this many times before. In fact, I just saw a young lady in half the other day <laughs> who's now living in Toledo and Cincinnati. So, what I'm going to ask you to do is this. I want you to feel that. Feel that. See? Oh, I'm sorry. Sharp. But notice, even though she cut her finger, she is not bleeding because she was hypnotized. <laughs> now, if they believe that, we've got them. I will show you that, indeed, this is a sharp saw. There are several wooden pegs here at the front and at the back of this bracket. Right here, these wooden pegs have been placed here so that I might quickly demonstrate how sharp this saw is. Now, what I'll do is this. I'll place this right here, and then I'm, would you place your right hand there, please, Mueva, and your left hand here. And incidentally, if there's anybody that cannot stand the sight of blood, please cover your eyes. All right, now, what we're going to do you, my dear. Your hands go up here, like that. Okay, now, we're going to cut right through. That's it. Are you ready? Here we go, right down through the piece of wood, just like that. We go that quickly, just there, front and back. There, That's did you wood. see it? See? Yeah. Right there, that is cut good. right through. Now we'll go through the second peg, just like this. Here we go, through the second peg, just like that. Did you feel anything that time? No, she didn't feel anything that time. Right and back, right there. But the third peg right down here is still solid. We're going to now cut through that one as well. Here we go. Oh, 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 Wait a minute, I just saw your legs quivering. Do that again. Can you move her? Oh, you must be one of those fast healers. Oh, that's terrible, because you see, you have healed before I've removed the blade. What? I now either have to pull the dull side of the blade up through the body, or I have to cut her in half again with another what? saw. Which would you prefer? Oh. Oh, sure, cut her in half. No, I think I better do it the other way. Anyway, here, would you hold on to that for just a second, and I'll pull this right up through. Wait a minute. Pull. Oh, my goodness. That's too bad. Uh, can you sit up? Sit straight up. That's fine. Now, hands straight up in the air. There we go. Just like that. A solid steel to your body. Just like that. Look at there. Wow. Harry Black Jones, you're right. Oh, my goodness. Something wonderful.
something I've got to say. Oh, Harry, it's wonderful to have you here. I know, but I want all of our young friends at home to realize this was just a bit of theatrical illusion. Please, don't try to do this with your little brothers and sisters. It's dangerous. And yeah. if you don't believe me, you should ask my half-brother. Okay? <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear. Oh, and you've been you. a good sport. Thank Come you back again, much. please! Oh, See you real soon. Why? Because we like you.